Hello everybody, in this video I will show to you a really interesting battery cell uh, which is some rechargeable uh, battery cell and it's really really easy to make. So the main components of this battery are really simple and in basic you can find these materials in any home. The chemistry of this battery is based on copper and zinc so this one is some rechargeable copper zinc battery and yes right now at this moment I charge this battery um, and hopefully you see some color change over uh, on the cathode and also on the separator I don't know if you can see but I get some blue material so in basic this blue material is some copper hydroxide uh, probably I will disconnect this battery because uh, this battery needs some time to be recharged uh, and yeah the recharging is really, really slow on this one uh, so right now I will disconnect uh, my power supply and here is my electronic load uh, you see 1.2 volts actually this cell have around 1 volt to 0.9 volt and I will discharge right now So this cycle is the third cycle and yeah, looks really, really interesting. Uh, so the discharge load is uh, 50 milliamps and yeah, I will see what I will get out from this one. So the battery was not fully charged because like I said, this battery needs some time to be recharged. Um, anyway, I will discharge battery right now and after uh, I will hit the finish, I will tell you more about this battery. And this was the finish and you see some strange looking curve. Um, this curve I get for the third time. You see, uh, I get the runtime of 26 uh, minutes. The energy is 14 milliwatt hours, and the capacity is 22 milliamp hours. I will repeat the cycle uh, one more time. Actually, this battery I charge on 1.5 volts and 400 milliamps. Uh, and like I said before, this cell uh, needs uh, some time to be recharged. And now the construction of this battery, like I said, is really, really simple. Uh, and is based on zinc copper chemistry. For the negative electrode I use zinc, just ordinary zinc and for the uh, positive electrode I use copper. So this copper is some copper foam uh, for increasing the surface area and the electrolyte of this system is potassium hydroxide, two mole of potassium hydroxide and a little bit of zinc oxide just a little bit of zinc oxide and actually that's it that's it really really simple battery design 
So actually I found some article about uh, this type of battery uh, on internet. The article is really, really limited. Uh, that's why I need to, uh, how to say, improvise a little bit. So uh, the electrolyte amount, I'm just guessing. Uh, like I said, I use two mole of potassium hydroxide and adjust a little bit of zinc oxide. Just a little bit. So I don't get uh, some impressive uh, energy out from this battery, but yeah, it's proof of concept. And like I said, I just guessing the weight of um, the weight of uh, materials for electrolyte. And yeah, really, really simple uh, battery itself. Uh, just copper. Like I said, I use copper foam and zinc and potassium hydroxide with zinc oxide electrolyte. Separator I use this, nothing special and yeah, uh, like I said I will repeat this cycle for more time. Now I am just uh, charge this battery and when the charging is over I will put again on my electronic load to see the cycle number 4. So guys, uh, this is a cycle number four and with each cycle I get better energy and capacity. So right now the running time of this uh, copper zinc battery is 31 minutes. Uh, the capacity right now is uh, 26 uh, milliamp hours. Uh, and the energy is 20 milliwatt hours. And again, I get a strange looking curve. Every time I get uh, some strange looking curve, I mean, with each cycle, I get some deformation of the curve and that's it so the running time was 30 32 uh, minutes uh, the third cycle was 26 minutes and the cycle number two was around 25 uh, 25 minutes so with each cycle I get better performance, I mean better capacity. Uh, you can play with this, uh, you can play with the amount of uh, the electrolyte and you will see what you will get. Uh, also to improve the capacity you can also use some zinc powder and also some uh, copper powder for the positive and the negative electrode. And this is the cell. So when you charge this battery, uh, on the positive electrode will form some uh, zinc hydroxide. And yeah, really nice and really simple uh, simple design of this cell and yeah that's it uh, experiment with this cell and we see us in the next video bye